Great scholars, let us deal with expanding quadratic brackets. Expanding quadratic brackets. Expanding quadratic brackets. These quadratic brackets are brackets that when you expand them, you, you end up having a quadratic expression or a quadratic equation. When you expand these brackets that we want to deal with today, you end up having a quadratic expression or a quadratic equation. Let us see some examples of these brackets. Let's see some examples of this bracket. We have 1 to expand 2x plus 4 into x minus 3. Ask to expand 2x plus 4 into x minus 3. Solution. Always do this. You have 2x plus 4 into x minus 3. Now, if you're using this as a multiplier, why this as a multiplicand? Then it means that each of the number in the multiplier section will be used to multiply each number or variable you have in the multiplicand side. So I want to use this as my multiplier. So it means I'll take the 2x to multiply all we have in this bracket. And I'll also take the 4 to multiply all we have in this bracket. And I will deal with my algebra answers and get the final result. This is what I'm saying. The first number we have in the multiplier bracket is 2x. So I will be using 2x to multiply all we have in this bracket. That is it. Then 4 will do the same. X, 4 into x minus 3. Now let's expand. 2x times the x. 2x times the x will give us 2x squared. The same 2x times minus 3 will give us minus 6 x. I'm done with that section. So this is 4. 4 times x will give us plus 4x and plus 4 times minus 3 will give us minus 12. So now we have 2x squared minus 6x plus 4x minus 12 as our result. But we can deal with this too, yeah, because they have the same algebraic letters attached to them. This x is not the same as this. this one is raised to power 2. This other x are not raised to power 2. And we only have one uh, constant number is here. So we have minus 6x plus 4x. You've been taught your operation of integers. How to deal with your negative signs or positive signs when it comes to addition or subtraction. Minus 6x plus 4x. You're giving out 6x and you have 4x. If you give out the 4x, you're still left with 2x to balance that person you're giving out the x2. So here we have, we have 2x squared minus 2x minus 12. That will be our final result because minus 6x plus 4x is minus 2x. So that is our result in that problem. Let's see another example. That is the expansion. That is the expansion, yes. That is the expansion. Let's take another example here. Yeah. You have this. 3x minus 2 into 2x minus 5. The same method is used or approach is used. Solution. You have 3x minus 2 into 2x minus 5. The first Letter in the multiplier multiplies all. We have 3x into 2x minus 5, then minus 2 into 2x minus 5. Let's expand. That will give us 6x squared. 3x times 2x will give us 6x squared. 3 times 2 is 6, and x times x is x raised to power 2. That is minus 15x. That is minus 4x. Minus 2 times minus 5 is plus 10. So we have this. 6x squared minus 15x minus 4x. 
There are two negative numbers here. Means you're giving out 15x, you're giving out 4x, you're giving out 19x altogether. So you have minus 19x plus 10. That is the result. Let's consider another problem before I will let you do some other ones yourself. Number three, we have x minus 3 into 4x plus 5 is equal to 0. x minus 3 into 4x plus 5 is equal to 0. The same approach is used. The multiplier and the multiplicand in the multiplier, I will pick the x as the first number 4x plus 5 then minus 3 into 4x plus 5 is equal to 0. That will be 4x raised to the power 2 plus 5x minus 12x minus 3 times plus 5 is minus 15 is equal to 0. These two can be dealt with. You have 4x squared plus 5 minus 12x will give us minus 7x minus 15 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic problem. That is it. Let's see the last example. Number 4. You have 2x minus 3 into 5x minus 2 is equal to 8. Let's deal with the solution. The same approach is used. Let's see 2x minus 3 into 5x minus 2 is equal to 8. In the multiplier side, we have 2x into 5x minus 2. Then you have minus 3. Minus 3 into 5x minus 2 is equal to 8. Let's expand. That will give us 10x raised to the power 2 minus 4x minus 15x plus 6 is equal to 8. You can deal with these two. We have 10x raised to the power 2 minus 19x. Yes, minus 19x. And uh, plus 6 is equal to 8. You can collect like terms. You can take this 8 back to this place to equate or to 0 if you like. I want to do that. 10x raised to the power 2 minus 19x plus 6 minus 8 is equal to 0. 8 is coming inside. You have 10x raised to the power 2 minus 19x. Then that will be minus 2 is equal to 0. That's what we have there. That is the quadratic equation that we are going to have. So it is from here you can now solve using your formula method or completing the square method. So if I want to give you a problem to solve, I can just tell you, solve this particular quadratic problem. Solve this or solve this for me. But today we just dealt with expanding quadratic brackets. Expanding quadratic brackets. So you carefully do this yourself. Expand the following. Expand this. Expand the following. Expand the following. We have 1, 2x minus 3 into x minus 7 is equal to 8 to y plus 6 into y minus 2, 3. You have t minus 3 into 2t plus 4 is equal to 6. Before you have x minus 1 into 4x minus 5. So carefully expand these problems and see if you get your answers correctly. I'll see you in the next class. Thank you.